Have you ever wondered about the connection between glaucoma, your diet, and exercise routine? This question may seem unusual, but it's not. Glaucoma, a group of eye conditions that damage the optic nerve, is a leading cause of blindness. But did you know that your lifestyle choices can significantly influence its progression? Let's take a moment to understand glaucoma a bit better. This disease, often associated with a buildup of pressure within the eye, can damage your optic nerve, which transmits images to your brain. If the damage continues, glaucoma can lead to permanent vision loss. And the worst part is, there's no cure for it. However, with early detection and treatment, you can often protect your eyes against serious vision loss. Now you might be wondering, what does my diet or exercise routine have to do with an eye condition? Well, much like other health conditions, glaucoma can be influenced by your lifestyle choices. Certain foods can increase intraocular pressure, worsening glaucoma, while others can help to reduce it. Similarly, regular exercise can help to manage intraocular pressure, slowing down the progression of glaucoma. In the following scenes, we'll delve deeper into the dose and don'ts of diet and exercise for glaucoma patients. We'll explore which foods could potentially exacerbate your condition and why it's better to avoid them. We'll also shine a light on the foods that can benefit you. And of course, we'll talk about how incorporating certain exercises into your routine can contribute to managing this eye condition. It's important to remember that while diet and exercise can help manage glaucoma, they're not a substitute for professional medical treatment. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making any significant changes to your diet or exercise routine. Understanding the relationship between diet, exercise, and glaucoma can help manage the condition better. So, stick around as we unravel the links between glaucoma, diet, and exercise, and empower you to make informed decisions about your health. So, what foods should you steer clear of if you have glaucoma? In managing glaucoma, it's not just about the medications and regular eye checkups. Our diet plays a significant role too. Certain foods can potentially aggravate the condition, while others can help maintain eye health. Today, let's delve into the types of foods that you'd better keep off your plate if you're dealing with glaucoma. First up, caffeinated drinks. Yes, that includes your beloved morning coffee or that energy drink you reach for when the afternoon slump hits. Caffeine causes a temporary spike in eye pressure, which is not what you want when you have glaucoma. This doesn't mean you have to give it up altogether. Moderation is key. Try to limit your intake to one or two cups a day and avoid caffeine close to bedtime as it can interfere with the body's natural rhythms and eye pressure control. Next on the list are foods high in sodium. Excessive salt intake can lead to fluid retention, which can increase eye pressure. This includes fast food, processed food, canned goods, and even some restaurant meals. To keep your sodium intake in check, cook at home as much as possible, where you can control the amount of salt you use. Also, opt for fresh fruits and vegetables over canned or processed ones and watch out for hidden sodium in sauces and seasonings. Trans fats are another no-no. These are found in many commercially baked goods and fried foods. They increase your LDL or bad cholesterol levels, which can lead to plaque buildup in the arteries. This can impair blood flow to the optic nerve, worsening glaucoma. So next time you're tempted by that donut or fried chicken, remember your eyes and opt for a healthier alternative instead. Certain types of alcohol should also be consumed in moderation. While moderate consumption of red wine, for example, can have health benefits due to its antioxidant content, excessive alcohol intake can lead to an increase in eye pressure. Again, the key here is moderation. Lastly, let's talk about refined carbohydrates. Foods like white bread, pasta, and sugar-sweetened beverages can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar. This can lead to inflammation throughout the body, including the eyes, making glaucoma symptoms worse. Instead, choose complex carbohydrates like whole grains, which release sugar slowly into the bloodstream, helping to maintain a steady blood sugar level. Avoiding these foods can play a significant role in managing your glaucoma. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate these foods completely, but to enjoy them in moderation, alongside a balanced diet, regular exercise, and proper medication. Steering clear of these foods can help keep your eyes healthy and your glaucoma in check. Stay tuned for the next segment where we'll discuss the foods that can actually benefit those with glaucoma. Now that we know what to avoid, what foods can actually help manage glaucoma? Well, it's a great question and one that has a delicious answer. 
The key is in building a diet rich in antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids. These nutrients are not just healthy for your body, but they also play a crucial role in maintaining eye health and reducing intraocular pressure, a significant risk factor for glaucoma. So where can you find these nutrients? Let's start with antioxidants. They combat oxidative stress, a process that damages your eye's cells and worsens glaucoma. Foods high in antioxidants include brightly colored fruits and vegetables like berries, oranges, and bell peppers. Green leafy vegetables such as spinach and kale are also excellent choices. They contain a high amount of lutein and zeaxanthin, two antioxidants that are particularly beneficial for the eyes. And let's not forget about the omega-3 fatty acids. They help maintain the eye's fluid levels, reducing the risk of high eye pressure. Foods rich in these healthy fats include fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, chia seeds, flax seeds, and walnuts. Now, what about something sweet? Dark chocolate is a fantastic choice. It's high in flavonoids, antioxidants that can improve blood flow to the retina and protect against damage. Just remember to enjoy it in moderation. Tea lovers will be happy to hear this one. Both green and black teas contain antioxidants and have been associated with a lower risk of glaucoma. So go ahead and enjoy your daily cup. It's good for your eyes. And lastly, hydration is essential. Drinking plenty of water helps maintain a healthy fluid balance in the body, including the eyes. But remember, moderation is key, as drinking large amounts at once can temporarily increase eye pressure. So there you have it. Incorporating these foods into your diet can be a delicious and satisfying way to support your eye health. Remember, food is not a cure, but it can certainly help in managing glaucoma, along with your prescribed treatments. Incorporating these foods into your diet can be a powerful tool in your glaucoma management strategy. What about exercise? Can it really make a difference for glaucoma patients? Now that's a question worth exploring. Studies have shown that regular moderate exercise can indeed help reduce eye pressure, which is crucial in managing glaucoma. Now you might be thinking, what kind of exercises are we talking about? Well, the good news is you don't need to become a marathon runner or a gym rat to reap these benefits. In fact, exercises that are too strenuous or involve straining can actually increase eye pressure, which is the opposite of what we want. So what's on the menu? Walking for starters. It's simple, it's free, and it's a great way to get your body moving. Try to aim for a brisk walk of about 30 minutes to an hour each day. Not only will this help with your glaucoma, but it's also great for your overall health. Next on the list is yoga. Yoga can be incredibly beneficial for glaucoma patients as it helps manage stress, which is often linked to increased eye pressure. However, it's important to avoid positions that involve a lot of head-down postures, as these can raise eye pressure. Swimming is another fantastic option. It's easy on the joints and it's a full-body workout. But remember, it's all about moderation. You don't need to be doing laps for hours on end. A few laps at a moderate pace should do the trick. The key takeaway here is that exercise can be a helpful tool in managing your glaucoma. But it's equally important to remember that everyone is different. What works for one person might not work for another. So it's always best to consult with your doctor before starting any new exercise regimen. So to answer our initial question, yes, exercise can really make a difference for glaucoma patients. It's not a cure, but regular, moderate exercise can be another effective way to manage your glaucoma. Let's quickly recap on what we've covered today. We dove deep into the relationship between glaucoma, diet, and exercise. We've learned that certain foods may exacerbate glaucoma's progress, while others can potentially slow it down. It's important to maintain a balanced diet that's rich in green leafy vegetables, berries, and fish while limiting intake of refined sugars, caffeine, and unhealthy fats. Exercise, too, plays a pivotal role in managing this condition. Regular physical activity, particularly aerobic exercises, can help decrease intraocular pressure and improve blood flow to the optic nerve, thereby potentially mitigating the damage caused by glaucoma. But remember, these lifestyle adjustments are not a substitute for medical treatment. They are meant to complement your prescribed medications and procedures. Remember, managing glaucoma is a holistic process that involves more than just medication. Your lifestyle choices can make a huge difference. Stay healthy and take care of your eyes.